Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Now, welcome back. We're doing something a little different than usual this time. That's right, we're starting a new Let's Play series. Are we gonna play a... But Sean, you've been saying a new Let's Play series, but I haven't been following the Let's Play videos. Um, what are you gonna do? Are you doing Wind Waker? No, that's a 20 minute demo. What are you... No, get out of here. No. Are we playing Lens of Zelda? I might as well play Dark Souls, which I will play eventually. Just give me some time on that. I want to get a better video code before I do that. But you're not going to play the original Zelda. Uh, maybe get to it. We're not going to talk about this one. Ocarina of Time. Now see, I don't have a problem with Ocarina of Time. The thing is, I think it's way overhyped. There was another Zelda game on the N64, which I think is worlds better. We're gonna play that. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna play Majora's Mask. The best Zelda game on the N64. And if you disagree with me, I don't really care. So, anyway, let's get to it. Give me a sec to sync here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool. We'll jump right in, no need to look at the controls, because we've got this shit on lock. Let's get right into it. Now, it says that there's some, like, sound irregularity, but I've never noticed it, really. Um. So I don't really know. Uh, I thought about playing out this whole cutscene, just to, you know, do that whole thing, and be like, Oh, look at the thing, and the thing, and the thing, and the thing. Nah. Let's jump right into it. Now, I did go ahead and clear a spot for me. And just so that we know that, just so that, really, so that I know. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that it's so that you know. You guys are going to be watching whatever I play. This is just for my benefit, so that way I know which file I'm going to. Um, we're going here, and we're going to start the name with the name Pandemic, so that way I know it's my Let's Play file. We go over here, you see that I've actually got everything in this one. So, we don't need to be going there, but we will go right here. Why are we going to do that? Because it's time to start a new game, so let's just do it. Shia LaBeouf, let's do it. In the land of Hyrule, there goes the legend. The, the something I wasn't reading fast enough because I don't care. The boy who after being battling evil and saving Hyrule crept away from the land and made him a legend. Done with the battles, he waged... He once waged... Okay, yeah. I was like, don't let me mean waited, but whatever. I get the feeling there was probably a little more time to read this on the N64 due to processing power at the time. But, you know, we're just gonna do our thing. So, we get this lovely little cutscene starting out. And it starts out pretty cheery, but, um, as in true video game fashion, well, I guess you'll find out. I will, uh, be quiet-ish and, uh, let things unravel. Oh look, two fairies, but they're different. That's not Navi. Neither of them are Navi. Navi's like a blue-ish color, if I remember right. So, and then those were like a vanilla, yeah, a vanilla and like a deep purple. So, great job, Link. Great job. So this is Skull Kid, and Skull Kid gets Dick of the Year award. He uh, 
uses two fairies to knock us off our horse. And then... He steals our ocarina, but wait. It gets better. Yeah, like we didn't just see that. Yeah, that's right. Skull Kid is going to steal our horse. Like an asshole. And here is what is what I honestly feel one of the most fun parts of the game. This is because it's it's a little short lived, but I like it. It's the Skull Kid Chase. So now we're... There we go. We've got control of our character. Link here, or I called him Pandemic, but it's Link. And uh, that's what I intend on calling him. So we get to see his new feature, which is... Flipping. And in here we go. And for those who have never played Majora's Mask and don't know what's going on... Just when you thought, oh, hey, we're going to catch Skull Kid, and everything's going to be okay now. About that. Just wait and see what happens. Because uh. just like Lindsay Lohan's acting career, it gets worse. Or maybe you're just an asshole, school kid. Again, asshole. And he's being a pompous asshole at that. Remember when I said this was gonna get worse? Here's where it gets worse. Now, long-standing Deku, uh, not Deku, Zelda fans are gonna recognize this enemy. These are the, uh, Deku scrubs. Or, some people call them Deku scrubs. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna call them what I call them. Um. Just wait. Hmm. Well, now Link is wooden. <laughs> the fairy growl. I'm not saying the fairy's name yet, just for the reason that some people might honestly not know. Does that mean I'm not going to give spoilers later on? Oh, I am absolutely going to give spoilers later on. That's part of Let's Play. But the various names are Tattle and Tail. Clever, right? Kind of like Navi, Navigate. Because it's your fault, Tattle. So, the fun thing about this guy is he does this little, like, ballet spin across the universe. And it's kind of whimsical, and I love it. It's adorable. Do we want to know about the Skull Kid, other than he's an asshole, and we really need to drop that fucker? Come on. <laughs> momentary break of the fourth wall. Alright, so that's another one of the cool things about 
Deku Scrub Link is he can use these Deku Flowers and uh, he can use them to uh, traverse like larger areas and pits and things where he might not be able to otherwise. And there's two other forms he gets. Technically... Two? Technically four. But... <sighs> Excuse me. Um... Two of the forms he gets. One of the forms, um, that he gets can only be used in boss battles, and one of the forms he gets can only be used during a specific boss battle. So. Hmm. Anyway. So, I'm thinking Oh, if I ever stop yawning, then what I'll do is um, record by cycles. Like, whatever. <laughs> um, like, one cycle at a time. And of course, I will be slowing them down later on. But, uh, yeah. Creepiest guy in the whole game, I'm pretty sure. Dude, if you're following me, I don't necessarily think that's rude. I just think you're a fucking stalker. He's like, dude, get my mask and I'll help you out. Sounds easy enough. Not so much. Not so much. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to North Clock Town. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he might be a rapist. Like, I've been following you around. Yeah, that's like the telltale sign of somebody who is like either trying to murder you or rape you or both. Like, that's not good. It's not okay. So we- that- okay, real quick. This is an owl statue. We can't do anything with it yet because we don't have the sword. Got it? Good. Cool. Done. So, we're here in North Clockdown because there's a minigame here, and if we can complete this minigame three days in a row, we get a piece of heart. Um. And it is absolutely possible to do. Oh, I'm literally one short. Damn it. I think it costs 10 rupees to get in there. This is a game that I have really pretty well memorized. So... I'm not so much worried about a lot here. Um, we are gonna go up here, and there is a flower here. Thought it was a little closer to the fence, so I was a bit off. Um, for those of you who watched Metroid, I got most of the missile pickups without much trouble at all. Um, 
I should be able to get almost every single heart piece in this game. Um. Um. So I have to beat the time of 1.15, I guess. Alright. So I have to collect all the rupees and land on that far platform over there in the back middle. So I'm going to wait until this goes. I feel like I am... Cool. Man, I feel like this game is running a bit slow. You know what? I could probably make that. No! Oh, I hate you. Why would you do that? This game isn't difficult, but the game is running, like, really slowly for some reason. So... Yeah, I'm trying to... You have to be really careful, because that spin move that I was showing you guys when I, like, very... turned into the Deku form for the very first time will fuck you over so quick in this minigame. Got a couple more seconds here. Good. Cool. Done. Whew. And I believe it's a 50 rupee. Yeah. Reward. You're like, oh, Pandemic, that's a weird name. I'm like, it is, but guess what? It's on your record book now, so you're gonna have to deal with that. So we're almost halfway through the first day. Um, we don't really have much else to do right now. Um, what we can do is we're gonna go down to the laundromat now. Um, pick up a fairy... Oh, so fun little thing about this game. That dog hates you in Deku form, as you can probably hear by the growling in the background now. Absolutely hates you. It will, like, if you get too close to it, um, and you don't really think about it, the dog will knock you flat on your ass. And it's kind of funny, but it's kind of like, dude, what the hell? Um... There's a bell at the laundromat there, we can ring it, and a person will come out. But there's really not much we can do. There, there's actually nothing we can do at the moment um, regarding that person's behavior. Lay in the game will be able to do some things with that, though. Um, it's actually, I think, the most complicated. Oh my god, words. Complicated quest line in the game. Um, and it ends with you, um, scrambling to save, um, just before the end of the world. So what we're gonna do now is that fairy, fairy we just got at the laundromat was a part of this great fairy. They all merged together, come back, be the big 
fairy, the great fairy. Um, the great fairy gives us some magic. No, what are we gonna do with the magic? Well, magic mucus. And some of you may be a little confused, but I'll show you. She's like, yeah, Skull Kid's an asshole, go kick his ass. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of just Deku right now, and I can't really do much. She's like, well, I can't do shit about that either, so we'll figure it out, kid. Okay, bye. Uh... There. We're gonna buy some maps from Jingle. This is the game that Tingle is so famous from, and Tingle is so creepy. He's like, oh, I'm a fairy. No, but I'm a fairy. And she's like, well, you're certainly something. As to what, I can't really say. Well, I buy one of your maps. Um, sure. I'll buy a clock town. I could buy Woodfall, but I'm going to save the money for right now. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm the one who did the thing. Need the code to get in. Uh, I think the code is kind of randomized, or it's based on, like, the order that you find them in or something. And I just have to find them by tomorrow morning, is all. But I believe two of them are here. One is in East Clock Town. The other is maybe in West. Yeah, I... There's also one back here behind this tree. Night of the first day, 60 hours. Boom, got him. Uh, there's two in West, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I can see where the chicken, the cuckoo, or the cuckoo, the cuckoo, the cuckoo, the cuckoo, the chicken, the fucking chicken. So you can't catch him there. But what you can do... This is like one of the most asshole kids to catch. Actually, it wasn't that bad this time. Wait a sec. The other one is up here. Wait, unless that's him. Oh wow. You ran down. I need to give this guy a second. He should. Ugh. So I'm gonna let him walk out some more. literally just a waiting game right now. Come on. He's like, oh, but where's the Deku scrub? I cannot find him. Oh, did I show you that this is a shield? He's a walnut. Like, look at that. That is so cute. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we can go to... S clock town. 
and we can handle the last bomber. It was right up there by the sword shop. In the postman's thing. Office, I guess, would be the proper word there. Boom, done. Sweet. So now that all of them are caught... One, two, three, four, five. One, five, three, four, two. Got it. Oh, yeah, so I like how this game definitely uh, throws in little bits of racism there. They're like, yeah, no scrubs. No, shut your whore face. Yeah, I know the code. They just gave it to me. Come on now. Bomber secret side of forever, bruh. So yeah, we go into the creepy observatory. Ooh, bad. Oh, come on. Alright, watch this. Oh, Fine. Wow, definitely ran into him. The lag on this game right now is unreal. Really, get up the ladder. That scarecrow there is going to become really important here in a few minutes. But right now, we need to climb to the top of this observatory. And talk to this guy. He's like, would you care to gaze into my telescope? So then you see Skull Kid on top of the tower here. He's like, oh shit, the moon. It's kind of ridiculous right now. So then the dude's like, well, what did you see? Did you find that Dragon Waker? And Blah 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 blah. He got way up there and I don't even know how because the door is closed and nobody can open doors apparently because words and things and what Deku. So cool, we've got the moon steer. Now let's head back in here. Now we're gonna run all the way back to South Clock Town, which is where we start off. Um So, we do that, oh, got it, wow, we're about 30 minutes in, I really didn't expect to, well, I guess the starting cutscenes are a bit lengthy.
But anyway, so what we're doing is we're gonna actually trade the moon tier so that we can get up the clock tower here on the final day. So, now we open this, we go here, and we present our moon steer, which is exactly what he's looking for. He's like, you want the title deed? Dude, I can totally give you the title deed. And now, actually, now that I'm thinking about it... We should... Ah... Uh, I would, uh... Oh yeah, this dog will knock me right on my ass. Boom. I didn't notice if he does any damage or not. But he certainly likes to growl a lot. So we're gonna take this time here real quick, just to jump on over here. And this way, we are ready to go. Day two of floating platform puzzles. Now, where's the day one? Uh, platform moved vertically these ones move horizontally and on the third day you have platforms that move horizontally and you have platforms that move vertically and again the time is 15 This one is actually pretty easy, though, I'm not gonna lie. Like... And with this, that's it. We're done. So, that's done. So we're gonna go ahead and take the time to go buy Tingle's Woodfall map. Um, I don't believe there's really much, if anything, else we can do at this point. Other than, uh, beat the game on day three. We might be able to go get an extra heart piece. Oh, wait, where are we going? Tingle. We might be able to get one more heart piece from the stock pot in. This is just so that we have it in advance. Uh, yeah. Ting that's just not okay. King is the epitome of not fucking okay. Now, here's the question I have. I'm gonna try and do this one handed.
Let's see if I can do this. So far, so good. I'm looking up, um, the hand and what hours it is there. Uh, midnight, so we can't do it. Because we're not able to get the stockpot key. Yes, we are going to dance until night, and then we're going to dance until morning. Then we're going to go back, do the last day of the game, and, uh, once that is done... We will come back here, dance until night, run back to Clock Tower. And I didn't mean to dance with him again. Yes. So, yes, unfortunately we do have to sit through this cutscene every time. Not that bad, though. We, after this, I don't think we'll ever need to use him again, so. And by this, I mean after we beat the, uh... No. No. Cool. Hmm. Wait. I was thinking maybe I should go smash some pots for some, like, um, health, or magic, or rupees, and I'm like, wait, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So now we head back to North Clock Town one more time. And we wreck this platform game one more time. I think I literally just said that. I'm not paying attention. Probably should be. Definitely wasn't. But uh, I'm kind of hoping these parts will be at least somewhat shorter than some of the ones for Metroid Prime. But I, I, it looks like this one will be about on par with them. Um, I don't know about the rest of them. It kind of depends on, like, the progress and such. Um, 160. Oh, careful. Careful. All right. And that's it. Cool. So now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go deposit this in the bank. That's right. Three days straight. What up? First piece of heart. Yeah, and they actually will not pop back up if I come back in there now. Um, at least until I start a new cycle. And you guys are hearing me use the word cycle a lot. And what that's referring to is 
It's a three-day cycle that this whole entire game is based off of. The same events happen at the same times with the same triggers implemented for each day and such. Um, so if you talk to a person on a day and it triggers an event, but you don't talk to them on the next cycle of three days, it won't trigger that event. The event will not be permanently triggered. Um, so, that's something that you have to be aware of when you do uh, quests and such in this game. Is I should have time. Fuck it. Because it'll put me at 6 o'clock. <laughs> 69 rupees. Oh my god, I hit no again. I don't care. Shall we dance? Of course! Why not? You're such a sexy scarecrow with your swishing and being in a carrot garden? Beets? Rutabagas? Vegetables? Let's go with various vegetables. Night of the final day. No. Stop asking. I forgot that he actually kind of, uh, retreats once that happens, so... So yeah, I mean, it looks like it will be pretty much on par here with an episode of Metroid, so we don't really have a lot to do. We're gonna go to West Clocktown? West Clocktown. And um, when we get there, we're gonna deposit all of our money that we currently have. Oh. Uh, so that way we have something to spend when we come back, more or less. Which, by the way, this character model was, like, a beggar in Ocarina of Time, and they use him as a banker in this one, which I think is honestly one of the most clever uses um, of one of the old models in uh, Ocarina of Time. So, kudos to them for uh, doing that. Oh, there, wait a second. There's also... I forgot that... There's multiple reasons why I want this flower. The secondary reason why we want this flower is this chest right here. Which has... 50 rupees! Yeah, that's the crap thing. Is I don't think... I'll try it, just because we've got the time. But I don't think I can make it to that straw roof over there. 
Well, I actually might be able to. Looks kind of like a jump drive. I'll give it one more shot. This time I won't, like, charge at it, you know? Oh, yeah. He does not jump nearly high enough. That's okay. So, this signifies the opening of the clock tower. So, this, again, more or less signifies the end of the world. Oh, and that carpenter is laughing because he thinks it's all some sort of hoax or something. I don't remember the specifics of why he's a dumbass, just that he is. Um, so we'll go ahead and get our second piece of heart, which makes the... And that second, uh piece of heart gives us half a heart container. We just need two more and we can actually get a fourth heart. I did too much so. <sighs> Bit tired. Now. This is where things get a little weird. Ugh. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. And Skull Kid's an asshole again. So, if you don't know what you're doing the first time this happens, it can be a little intimidating. But what you do is you blast him with a bubble. And then he drops the ocarina. Because, let's be honest, if I was hit by a rocketing bubble of mucus, I would be pretty stunned and I would probably drop the things I was holding too. So now, we get a cutscene, and Zelda's like, oh no, don't leave, but you've got to leave, don't you? Shit. Okay. It is really weird playing that when your sound has about half, somewhere between, I think, 75, oh my god, oh, 75, uh, 0.75 seconds to a second delay. And it doesn't vary, it's consistent, but, man, it is a... Uh, Yeah, it's a thing.
So now we go over and we equip the ocarina. All right, I'm gonna try and play this about the same tune. Ooh. I got kind of close, but man, that delayed sound does not make it easy. Okay, save. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I should call it a part. Let's go ahead and sit through the cutscene. Which we might have to sit through again next time, but we might not. I don't know. Alright, and we're back to doing the first day. Right, everything reset. That's the mechanic of this game. You're on three day cycles and your ability is resetting. Well, along with the ones that you get from the various masks in the game, but I mean, you know. Yes, and the reason why we couldn't leave town, by the way, is because they will not let me leave because they think I'm a child and I don't have a weapon. But, we'll go ahead and we'll handle this real quick. Yes, we were able to do the thing. I believe it's... One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, yeah, I did it. I did that all right. He's like, oh, bye, Deku Scrub. So, I guess what I'll do is I will, uh, I'll go ahead and save when I get out of this cutscene here. I'll play the song again, the Song of Time. <laughs> this is where things get really weird. Dude, freaks out, shaking baby syndrome, just going friggin' nuts, man. It is Majora's Mask. This is a spooky story. This game is actually incredibly dark. Um, a lot of people... I didn't really realize that as a kid. Like, I was like, oh shit, there's zombies in a can of canyon. There's, like, mummies and shit. That is really creepy. Like, that's about as far as I went with that thought process. Um. However, this story has a lot to do with, like, a lot of people believe that the four 
um, stages of, uh, or like the stages of grief are represented by the different areas in the game. It actually makes a lot of sense. The theory is very, very plausible. But yeah, he's freaking out. He's like, oh my god, we need to get that mask back. Horrible, horrible shit is about to happen. So, please help me. And, of course, we're not gonna be an asshole about it. Like, the dude, he fixed us up. So, you know, we're gonna give him the hookup. So, real quick. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and handle this. Oh, I won't do it here, huh? Well. All right. Yup, he was. We'll get to that later. Alright, so like I said, I'm gonna use this, we're gonna save, and we'll call it a part. So, until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh... I'm so glad to go ahead and be starting a new part, a uh, new Let's Play for you guys. Um, I've got a lot more planned along with this. Again, once I beat Alice, um, I will be starting into some other things. Um, the next game I'm going to be starting up will be Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Um, and after that, it's pretty much a toss-up, so... Uh, please let me know what you want to see, and I'll see if I can make it happen. But until then, peace.